New laws coming into place in 2024 you need to know about. There have been several big law changes this year, including the national living wage being increased. But as we now enter 2024, more law and regulations changes are set to be made for those living in the country. In the past 12 months, new legislations were passed in Parliament, meaning throughout the new year they will become laws in the UK. Some changes relate to employment, including laws which entitle workers to more time off if they are looking after a relative. While others include changes to childcare allowance and new rules for international students applying for visas. Here we've listed some new laws that may directly or indirectly affect you in 2024. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe our channel for upcoming updates by UK government and other very interesting content on various topics. 1. Carers Leave Act. From 6 April 2024, employees will have a statutory right to a week's unpaid leave to care for a dependent. The Carers Leave Regulations will allow people to take up to five days off each year to fulfill responsibilities for individuals who are elderly, have a disability, or are suffering from an illness or injury lasting more than three months. Employees using the leave must take a minimum of half a working day at a time, a working day meaning the employee's usual working pattern. There is no need for the leave to be used on consecutive days either. Employees could therefore take five separate days over a 12-month rolling period. 2. The Neonatal Care Act. The Neonatal Care Act is set to extend support to parents whose babies require hospitalization shortly after birth. If a baby is less than 28 days old and spends at least seven consecutive days in the hospital, parents will be entitled to additional time added to their maternity and paternity leave from this year on. For each week their baby remains in the hospital, parents will receive an extra week of leave, up to a maximum of 12 weeks. This act is expected to come into effect in October 2024. This is in addition to standard maternity and paternity leave entitlement. 3. Protection from redundancy. Another law likely to be implemented in April 2024 is the Protection from Redundancy Act. It will ensure that pregnant employees and those returning from maternity, adoption, and shared parental leave are protected during redundancy exercises. Currently, if an employee is on maternity leave the employer will be obligated to offer these employees a suitable alternative vacancy until 18 months after the birth or adoption. Next year, the existing right will be amended to cover pregnancy and a period of time after maternity. The exact duration will be set out in secondary legislation. 4. Allocation of tips. A new law will ensure that employers must pass on any tips, gratuities, or service charges to workers. Employers should make sure that 100% of all customer tips, including those paid by credit card, are distributed to staff without any deductions. The Act is set to come into force from May 2024 and will state that tips must be made in full to staff no later than the end of the month in which the tip was paid by the customer. This law applies to all employees and workers including agency staff and zero-hours workers. It is being reported that employers must maintain records detailing how tips are distributed, and workers will have the right to access these records. In cases where tips are unfairly allocated, employees will have the ability to make a claim to a tribunal, with potential compensation of up to £5,000 for mishandling tips. 5. National minimum wage rises. National minimum wage rises every year but in April 2024, we're set to see more than just the standard change. Currently, workers aged 23 and over receive the highest rate of pay for national minimum wage, there's a lower rate for workers who are 21 and 22. However, this band is going to disappear pushing 21 and 22 year olds into the highest band bracket. So here are the new rates you'll need to make note of. For those over compulsory school age but not yet 18 6 pounds and 40 pence per hour, up from 5 pounds and 28 pence. For apprentices aged 19 and under, or 19 and over and in their first year of their apprenticeship, 6 pounds and 40 pence per hour up from £5.28 for those aged 18 to £28.60 per hour, up from £7.49 national living wage, anyone aged 21 and over, £11.44 per hour, from £10.42 
you'll need to make sure you pay your staff the correct wage if they earn on or around the national minimum wage. Otherwise, underpaying, even accidentally, could lead to you having to fork out. 6. Changes to building regulations. Building control is to become a regulated profession, meaning that the job title, building inspector, will be protected in law in 2024. Those wishing to be recognized as a professional will need certain qualifications or experience and will be required to register with the regulator, BSR, as registered building inspectors, RBIs. This will become a requirement from April 2024 and applies to individuals within local authorities and those working for approved inspectors or registered building control approvers. Gov.uk states registered building inspectors can carry out regulated building control activities, which are assessing plans inspections giving advice to building control bodies that carry out regulated functions. After April 2024, if you intend to carry out any of these activities in England, you must be registered as a building inspector. After this date, if you are not registered it is a criminal offence to work as a building inspector. 7. Upcoming changes to childcare support. Currently, all parents and carers of three and four-year-olds are entitled to 15 hours a week childcare support with registered childcare providers. Eligible working parents and carers of children aged three and four can also get an additional 15 hours childcare support, bringing their total up to 30 hours a week. With the upcoming expansion, in April 2024, existing childcare support will be upgraded so that by September 2025, most working families with children under the age of five will be entitled to 30 hours of childcare support. The changes are being introduced gradually to make sure that providers can meet the needs of more families. This means that, from April 2024, eligible working parents of two-year-olds will be able to access 15 hours childcare support. From September 2024, 15 hours childcare support will be extended to eligible working parents of children from the age of 9 months to 3 year olds. From September 2025, eligible working parents of children under the age of 5 will be entitled to 30 hours of childcare a week. Like the existing offer, depending on your provider, these hours can be used over 38 weeks of the year, during school term time, or up to 52 weeks if you use fewer than your total hours per week. 8 New Rules for International Students From January 2024, those entering the UK on a student visa will no longer be able to bring their dependent partner or children to the UK, unless they are enrolled in a PhD or postgraduate research programme. This follows changes to the student visa rules that were made in July 2023. The new rules require student visa holders switching to a UK work visa to have completed the course of study and have a job start date that is after the completion of their course. In addition, those studying for a PhD must have studied for at least 24 months before switching to a work visa such as a skilled worker visa. However, a graduate visa will permit international students to stay in the UK for at least two years after completing a course in the UK. A graduate visa cannot be extended, however. People may be able to switch to a different visa, for example a skilled worker visa. 9. New Clean Air Zones a number of cities across the country now have clean air zones, CAZ, however, in 2024 more may be introduced. Bradford, Bath and Birmingham have been in action throughout 2023. Future clean air zones being looked into include Greater Manchester. The idea of the zones is to improve air quality. If your vehicle exceeds emission standards, you may have to pay a charge if you drive in a clean air zone. Liverpool has opposed a CAS due to the shortage and cost of new and used compliant vehicles. However, Liverpool City Council said they instead want to focus on improving public transport networks and finding other ways to improve air quality. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.